Blocks and layers, one of life's greatest mysteries. Well, not really. But once you kind of see how they behave, it, it does kind of make sense. I'm going to take this block here. I'm just going to make a quick edit on it. And what I can see right now is that all this white geometry currently resides on layer zero is where that, where that resides. Whereas this line here resides on a layer called hidden. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a line down the center here. So I'm going to add a center line here and actually place it onto the center line layer. And let's just adjust our LT scale here um, just so we can see the, the line types a little bit better here. So just like that, I can see that I've added that geometry and I've added that center line. So remember that the outside geometry is on, on layer zero, so it's white. And then I've got my hidden line and my center line type. So what I'm going to do is come in here and I'm going to save the changes and update that block definition. So, so far we're, we're looking good here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm actually going to copy this and create a couple instances of it. So I'm going to create an instance there and I'm going to create an instance there. I'm going to take this one and what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this and place this on the dimensions layer. I'm going to take this one here and I'm going to take this one and I'm going to move it to the reference layer. So we can see here what's going on here. So the objects that were on layer zero are now taking on the properties of the layer that they were placed on. So I can see now that, you know, since this was on the dimension layer, anything that was on layer zero is now red because it's taking on the properties of the dimension layer. So if I was to come in here and change my dimension layer so that it was purple instead of red, well then those objects are just gonna update. Now the center line, the hidden line layer, since they're on those particular layers, are going to keep those properties. So even if I turn off the hidden line layer, notice that regardless of, of you know, what layer the block is placed on, that is being controlled by the hidden layer. If I come in here and change the hidden line layer to dark blue, I click OK, notice that it's updated everywhere. However, if I come in here and do the same thing to layer zero, notice that those objects are not changing. And the reason why they're not changing is because you know, within the blocks, they're kind of special because they're actually taking on the properties of the layer that the block is placed on. So if I turn off the dimension layer, we can see that that block object is, is being turned off and not the objects within it. So that's the difference or why layer zero is there. Layer zero is, is designed specifically for use within blocks so that it takes on the properties that you want. And obviously there, there's times where you want that and times you want. I mean, this, this, this bolt is probably one of the best examples because the center line, I always want in the center line because then it gives me the ability to turn the center line off and on. Well, now what I could do, let's just go back here again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this a little bit. So I'm going to click OK. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two blue lines here. Actually, let's, let's do this. Let's take these lines here and let's move these to the um, dimensions layer. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the color property here and I'm actually going to set this by block instead. So it's on the dimensions layer is what, where it's on, but the property for the color is set to by block. So I'm going to save my changes there. I'm going to click OK. And now what I can see is that if I was to come in here, sorry my pan just went a little bit crazy there. If I was to come in here and I was to turn off the dimension layer, notice those objects are disappearing from each block but the properties of it is taking on the properties of the block so that's what by block means so it's kind of this merger between layer zero and you know the by layer property where it actually resides on a different layer but it takes on the properties of the block so it's kind of the the mix between there so there you have it there's the instances where you use layer zero there's instances where you use the layer with the by layer property. And then you also have some, some option there with the by block property that actually have um, objects on different layers other than the layer zero, but still have a take on the properties of the block.